a clean install of Avast 2016, the free version. The easiest way to accomplish this is to follow the instructions outlined at. This will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide so that you don't miss any steps and that you will be assured of actually getting a clean install. Let's do the steps one by one. In my case, I have downloaded the free version of Avast and I have also downloaded the uninstall utility for Avast since I need to remove what I currently have on my system before I can install something new. If you don't currently have Avast installed but something else, then you follow one of these links to get the removal tool for the antivirus program currently on your computer. You will need it to fully remove that product before you can install whichever version of Avast you may select. I downloaded both of these programs to my desktop. The next step would be to disconnect yourself from the internet since you don't want to remove your current antivirus protection while you're still online and expose yourself to a possible infection. The easiest way to get off the internet is to open up your settings under network and internet. In my case, you'll see that I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi. The easiest way to disconnect, select airplane mode and then turn this on. Once you're on airplane mode, you no longer communicate with the outside world. We will reverse this once we fully installed the newest version of AST. The next thing we need to do is to open up control panel, go to program and features and select Avast and we want to uninstall. In my case, I'm going to select reinstalling because that's in essence what I'll be doing. Once the uninstall has completed, you'll need to restart your computer. Once your system has rebooted, you'll notice that Avast is now gone from the programs and features part of control panel. Next step now is to run the Avast Clear program, which will clear out all of the leftovers or remaining parts of Avast in the registry and many other places that are not removed by the normal uninstall process. So let's run the program. It will tell you that it's recommended to run this program in safe mode. Without running it in safe mode, it cannot remove all of the things that need to be removed. Your answer here would be yes to allow it to go into safe mode. Now that Avast Clear has done its job and removed the remaining remnants of last installation of Avast, has rebooted from safe mode, it's now time to install the latest version of Avast Free. You need to agree to the end user license agreement. Clicking here will let you know what's in it. In our case, we are offline because we are doing a clean install. Currently, we have no antivirus program at all on our system. I would at this point not be looking at the end user license agreement. It is something you already read the last time you installed your antivirus program. Click on install. I've asked how now completed installing. Hit on continue. I already have Avast's free protection for my Android device. Remember, we've done a clean install, which means we didn't save any of the settings that we may have had in place before we totally wiped out Avast. Therefore, you will again need to sign in, and if you've made any changes to the default settings in Avast, you will again have to make those changes the same as you did prior to its total removal. But this is how you do a clean install. And the last thing we need to do, we now need to turn our connection back on. We are set on airplane mode. I want to now switch back to my online connection. Since I'm on a connection at a hotel, I will be using my Avast the Secure Line to keep me safe. Secure Line is a paid feature I selected. 
Now that we're back online, Avast will be able to do the streaming updates to keep you as protected as at all possible against the latest discovered viruses. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.